has barred the Judicial Service Commission from conducting the interviews for a judge of the Supreme Court starting next week until four cases filed in court are heard and determined. This even as the ongoing Chief Justice interviews, uh, the court says, will continue. Meanwhile, Court of Appeal President William Ouko says the delay in the appointment of 41 judges has affected service delivery in the courts. Joa Shonsare has the details. The president of the Court of Appeal, William Ouko, was the eighth candidate to appear before the Judicial Service Commission panel. Ouko told the panel that the delay in swearing in of 41 judges has greatly affected service delivery at the Court of Appeal. Oko says so far the court is operating with 15 judges only following the retirement of his colleagues and one who died. And so we felt the weight because of this. And so when I talk about um, what we've gone through, um, it is really from my heart. There ought to be a way out. Um, and for me, if you graciously give me the opportunity i'll come back to you i'll come back to the commission this is where it all started the eventual protocol will be at state house president huru kenyatta failed to swear in the 41 judges and move the judiciary has been complaining to reduce backlog in courts justice oko says he intends to appoint lawyers in private practice to help in courts if he will be appointed as cj as uh, cj maraga retired we are i think at 600 700 000. um and the focus should be that, because what Mwanaichi wants us to do is to give expeditious determination of cases. Uh, there's an act of parliament that uh, uh, allows the chief justice to appoint uh, lawyers in private practice to help uh, the judiciary with the uh, hearing of cases given our numbers. On corruption, Ouko has said he will collaborate with other actors in dealing with corruption cases in courts. It takes two to tango. And so even as we try to address corruption within us, we also must be able to have corruption addressed without the judiciary, outside the judiciary. Meanwhile, the High Court has temporarily stopped the JSC from conducting the interviews for the Supreme Court judge. Justice Anthony Murima and Wilfrida Okwany gave the orders Wednesday afternoon pending hearing of petitions filed by four petitioners. However, the ongoing interviews for the position of Chief Justice will go on. The vetting process is on home stretch. Thursday, Professor Wekesa Moni, a law lecturer, will face the panel to prove if his 16 years' experience in law will convince the panel to lead Kenya's judiciary. Josh Onsare, TV 47 Supreme Court, Nairobi.